This video is going to demonstrate how to create custom commands using the Customize User Interface in AutoCAD. Specifically, we are going to be creating an insert command that will insert blocks into a drawing. In order to get this to work, there are four things you have to know. Number one, you have to know how to write a macro. Number two, the files that you want to insert as blocks have to exist and be accessible. Number three, you have to have a file pathway in your options dialog box. And number four, you have to know how the command line version of the insert command works. So we'll walk through these. We talked about number one, how to write a macro in previous videos. <clears throat> number two, your files must exist and be accessible. So if I look at my, op my windows here, you'll see that on my H drive, in my 20B folder, I have low uh, I have landscaping blocks and I have the trees that I want to create as tools in my new ribbon commands um, when you create your tools it's make sure that you have spelled them correctly that they have easy names that are to remember and they cannot have any spaces in them number three you have to have a pathway that shows where they are so if I go to the options dialog box on the files tab under support file search path you'll see that you need to have a pathway pointing to where they are so notice it's on my H drive 20B folder in the landscaping blocks remember these pi these pathways are not cumulative so I have to point to every individual folder where there might be blocks that I need to insert finally you have to know how the command line version of the insert command works since that's what we're going to be doing here now you'll notice that I'm not saying the insert command on the ribbon because this command works differently than the command line version and remember when we're writing a macro you have to use the command line version so in order to get the command line version what I suggest you do is to walk through that process to do so you're going to type in dash insert so this creates the command line version of the insert command. Notice down here at the bottom it says dash insert. When I press enter, it asks me for a block name. Now I know that the file exists and I know that I have a search path for it. So all I have to do at this point is to type in the name of the block that I want to insert, which in this case is cedar. So I'm gonna get the cedar tree. When I press enter, it brings the cedar tree into my drawing and then you'll see that it asks me to specify the insertion point so this will be a pause in our macro once I pick it with my mouse or type in the coordinates using the keyboard and press enter it asks me for an X scale factor notice down here it asks me for an X scale factor so I'm gonna say I want it to come in at a scale factor of 1 enter I want it to have a Y scale factor. I also want that to be equal to the X scale factor. So I'll say one, enter. And then it asks me for a rotation angle. I want that to come in at an angle of zero, enter. So there are a few steps. If I press F2, you'll see here that I get several steps and we'll look at them again. So it's insert the name of the command and then the insertion point it asks for the insertion point it asks for the x scale factor the y scale factor and then the rotation angle you um, when you create your macro you do not want to assume that that number right there which is my x scale factor is going to be one because if somebody has used the insert command before you use it and left that at say 0.5 it's going to be the default value. It keeps that in there. So you always want to make sure that you write that as a 1 and a 1 and then 0. So now here we get into creating the actual command itself. To create the command, you're going to launch the Customize User Interface dialog box, which is C-U-I, Enter. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see all of the commands that are available in AutoCAD. And what we want to do is we want to create our own custom command. So we're going to just click on this button right here where it says create a new command. You'll see over here on the left hand side now, 
that we've got our properties. And some of this is going to look familiar. So I'm going to zoom up on this so you can see a little bit closer. Okay. So the command that we're going to create here is going to be called cedar because it, we're creating a cedar tree. Uh, we're inserting a block. The description is going to tell the user what it does. So it is going to be inserts a block of a cedar tree. We're not going to put an extended help file in there. We want the command display name to be the same as the name itself, so we're going to say cedar. And now we come to the macro. So now thinking about the macro, there are, it takes into account what we've learned before. You'll notice that they put in the control C, control C for us, which means escape, escape. So we want to tell it now that we want to run the command line version of this command, which is dash insert. Remember to put in the full name of the command. Don't use the alias. Press a spacebar to simulate the enter key. It, the computer would then prompt you as the user to tell it what block you want to insert. So we're going to put in cedar. You do not need to put in the DWG. It assumes that you're inserting a DWG and you press enter. So now it brings the uh, the computer would bring that block up onto the screen so that you could see it and it asks you as the user to place uh, to, to specify the insertion point because we want the user to be able to specify the insertion point we're going to put in a backspace that is the pause for user input after you pick the user input it asks you for the x scale factor and again we don't want the uh, computer to use whatever the default value is. We want to make sure that it comes in at a scale of 1. So we'll type 1 and then spacebar for enter, which prompts us now for the y scale factor, which we want that also to be 1 and press enter. And then our rotation angle, we'll leave that at 0. So you have to type in 0 and press enter. So now that is the complete macro to insert that cedar tree into the drawing. The only two things that we have left to do are to put in images so that when we create our tool, it'll have an image associated with it. In order to do that, you just click in this box and notice that you get the ellipsis over here. So you'll click here and it takes you to where you can search for an image. Now you created an image when you exported <clears throat> that tool palette. So if I go to my trees, and then images, you'll see that I've got Cedar 32, Cedar 32 Dark, Cedar 64, Cedar 64 Dark. So these are just different sizes and one for the, these are for the light background and these are for the dark background. I'm using the light background, so I'll choose Cedar 64, say open, and notice that it says there. And I'm gonna use the same image for both small and large. <clears throat> it doesn't make a difference for what we're doing here. So again, I have to browse to that area. 20B, tool, tool palettes, trees, images, Cedar 64 open. Notice that it has this here <clears throat> and we're ready to go. Don't worry about that this is a PNG, it still works just fine. And then when you're all done here, you can choose apply. So now you have created your own custom command that later on we can put onto a tool palette.